is Judge Spector. Now, around a year ago, I uploaded a retrospective view on the Highlander franchise. Considering the fact that a remake is in the works, I thought it would be appropriate to do something like that. However, after reviewing my work on that, I decided that I didn't elaborate enough on the television series, which, in my opinion, despite the nostalgic value of the original film, the TV series is, in my opinion, the greatest gem that the franchise ever produced. So I've decided to go back and sort of review that season by season, starting with Highlander Season 1. Now, after the failure of Highlander 2, The Quickening, a reboot TV series was created. It would not star Christopher Lambert because, from what I understand is the general rule, he doesn't do TV series, but he was brought in to sort of pass the torch to the new character who would be the main star, Adrian Paul, who would play Duncan McCloud, kinsman of Connor McCloud. Christopher Lambert made his one and only appearance in the series in the pilot episode entitled The Gathering, where he reprised his role as Connor McCloud. Now, this episode had to set up several things, such as the Immortals' ability to sense each other from a reasonable distance away, the fact that they had lived for centuries and had known each other throughout centuries and whatnot. Unfortunately, this episode was brought down a few points with me just because of the villain. The very first villain of the TV series was nothing more than a cheap Kurgan stand-in who possessed absolutely none of the charisma of Clancy Brown. This guy was a complete joke, a very, very lackluster villain, and his presence really diminished the episode. But excluding him, I have to say, it was a decent enough first outing. It didn't blow me away, but maybe that's because I never saw this episode until a couple of years ago. I never even knew Christopher Lambert had starred in the Highlander series, because none of the episodes I had seen previously had him in it. So perhaps I might be being a bit unfair to this episode. But as I said, despite the villain, I think the episode worked well enough. However, the same cannot be said for most of the rest of season one. This was without a doubt the shakedown season, where they were basically just hammering out the framework for how everything was going to be going. A lot of these episodes didn't even feature evil immortals or other immortals at all. It just had Duncan McCloud going up against, you know, whoever for whatever reason. And a lot of the episodes just kind of floated around. It didn't really feel like they had a soul or really found a point to it or anything. There would be some episodes like A Bad Day in Building A, which would just seem like completely pointless. It's like didn't even need to even exist because nothing really happened. It was just like Duncan McCloud going up against a group of terrorists who happened to be at a courthouse he was going to for a speeding ticket. And he just gets, you know, pulled into these events and has to like save the day. You know, episodes like that really just felt pointless. But episodes would get better down the line. There's a few notable ones, including Band of Brothers, which introduced Darius, the priest immortal who would have a big impact on Duncan's life and his philosophy on things and would be a great teacher to him. Another great episode was For Tomorrow We Die, which introduced Xavier St. Cloud. He's a delightfully evil villain who was so cool they brought him back on several episodes in future seasons. Also, the season finale was noteworthy as well. It was titled The Hunters, and it introduced a group of normal humans who knew about immortals and were, in fact, killing them. This episode had a really great feel to it, and I think it was a great way to end off the season. As a whole, I would have to say that Highlander the series Season 1 is a bit hit or miss. There were some episodes, as I pointed out, which felt pretty floaty and pointless, but there were some that really hit the mark and really did a good job of establishing what Highlander was all about. All in all, I don't know if I would recommend buying the entire season, but there were a few good episodes in there, so I would say check it out.